Ladies and gentlemen. Look, look, see, you know what I'm saying? Look, I gotta rep my city, man. Lions, Tigers. Yeah, I gotta rep the city. I gotta get a Pistons tattoo. I didn't get it on this one, but. Wait, 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 oh, wait, oh, wait, where is, where, where is she? Oh, yes, look, look at her, oh, it's, it, it's a great day, it's, it's a great day to be a Pistons fan, the Detroit Pistons, we have officially, per Woj, I want y'all to see this, look, can you zoom in, let, let, let's see if I can get the camera to focus in, Adrian Walsh are now. I'm sorry, Walsh. I, I ruined your name. ESPN sources: The Detroit Pistons have landed on a decision to select Cade Cunningham with the number one pick in tonight's draft. Let's let's go back. Yes. Look, I saw you just smile. I saw you just smile. Yes, baby. Oh, Cade Cunningham is coming to Detroit. We're getting Cade with the number one pick. You know, I, I feel like I told, it was the obvious choice. We were going to get Cade. It's just, sure, whenever you saw there's disagreements in the front office, um, there is a lot of back and forth going on. The Pistons are not sure on number one. Yeah, may it say be like one or two people. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, not everybody is going to be unanimous. Like, come on, bro. Do you expect everybody to just sit there and be unanimous on a decision? No, it's understandable. They made sure they waited to the last possible second. They are doing the best they can to make sure that they know the best decision possible. And to be honest, I feel like by them saying, per Woj, we are picking Cade Cunningham, we may get more wild trades, you know what I'm saying? Some people may just, they just may dish it out there for us, you know what I'm saying? Um, love of, for the love of God, please, no Ben Simmons. Because he they're trying to trade him tonight. No Ben Simmons. No Ben Simmons. None. Zero. Please, no. All right, so. Yeah, I just got the notification on my phone. Um, We're going to take Kane. But like I said, the decision, I feel, puts GMs in a hurry-up mode to try to offer more to us for Kane. And there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with looking at every possible outcome until the last second. Like we have, we have the clock. The clock is ours. We can use the clock to the last second. All right, we got one more second. Yeah, can't cut it half. All right, we're good. You know, there's no problem with it. I have no problem with how Troy is doing this at all. And I feel like this camera needs to be. There we go. There's no problem with it. Um, what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is what are we what are we gonna do to trade into the first round? You know what I'm saying? What what pieces are we trading? Who are we trading? Are we? Tr uh, I don't want to get rid of Josh. You know, it, it's so many things that we can do. Josh Jackson could get traded. Hamidou Diallo could get traded. Um, Jeremy Grant still could get traded. I don't know. You know, um, we need to get in the first round. If we could if we could somehow find a way to uh, nah, not Moses Moody. We need a big man. We need a big man. Um, we definitely need a big man. Um, the draft is apparently the. Hey, and y'all have to stop with this narrative, please. Cause in the past forty-eight hours, my phone has been blowing up with. Oh man, all oh, the best players of this draft class compared to two thousand three. All oh, compared to the uh, nineteen ninety. Stop. Like, come on, bro. Hey, and y'all keep stop comparing Kobe to everybody. It's sick. Like, stop comparing Kobe Bryant to uh, Cade Cunningham. That was egregious. Cade Cunningham. I saw a Tracy McGrady slash Kobe build with <laughs> Jalen Green. Like, come on, bro. What are we doing? Man, what? I'm sick of it, man. But it's it's a lot it's a lot flying around the 76ers made a trade you know they got the number 53 pick i feel like they're gonna package that pick and, t and send that on somewhere else um it's definitely miami may be making a trade tonight my homeboy says he, he doesn't feel like the miami's gonna do anything like i feel like miami's gonna do something 
Mm. I don't know. Um, New Orleans is got. They just traded for more cash. To be honest, I feel like they might land Kyle Lowry. I don't know why. I feel like New Orleans may land Kyle. It is what it is. It's just. It's a lot going on. But I need my Pistons fans to finally relax. It is official. Troy Weaver and Co. has officially said we are taking Cade with the number one pick. Jalen Green is now a lock at number two because Jalen Green built a relationship with Kevin Porter Jr. in the G League. I'm telling y'all, Houston just needs to just sit. They lo- they got to stick with this. Houston can be great, bro. You have Jalen Green. You've got Kevin Porter Jr., and you got Jay Sean Tate. Build that team around those. Them three are some studs. I love those three. Build that team around them. And this is going to be a great. Uh, Houston could be a great team of the future. Just please don't ruin it, Houston. Please don't ruin it. But back to my Pistons, man. You know, it's Pistons Day, man. It's Pistons Day. That's what it is. You know, hey, it's Pistons Day. Oh, man. It's. So, Killian Hayes at the one, Cade at the two, Sadiq at the three, Jeremy at the four, Isaiah at the five. We still need, there's still some things we need to figure out. I don't necessarily like Jeremy at the four. We need somebody to pair with Isaiah in that front court. Pushing Jeremy back to three, the problem is Sadiq would be coming off the bench. And that is why I still think we're going to make this trade because Sadiq needs to be starting. Sadiq is great. I love Sadiq. Jeremy Grant's great. But my original thought was we were we got him to trade him. And trade him for assets or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. I wanted to somehow get Corey Kispert. But his uh, draft stock keeps moving up. And I don't see... I really don't see us somehow... I don't see us somehow getting him. I don't see us somehow getting the best shooter in the draft, Corey Kispert. But I don't even know, is this game really going to translate to the league? Because I have the same feeling about Corey that I had about Luke Kennard. And Luke Kennard, we see what happened with that. (laughs) Man, uh, looks like the Warriors are going to snag Kaminga. Yeah, it looks like the Warriors are going to look at Kaminga or Boo Knight. If I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry. Jalen Suggs looks like he is going to be going to the Raptors. Cavaliers, they talk about they want a godfather uh, trade for the pick. To be honest, if I'm Cleveland, hey, man, just take just take Shea Gilgis and uh, the number six pick. Call it a day. Let, let Oklahoma trade up. I still think Oklahoma's insane for trying to trade Shea. I feel like they're trying to trade, they're trying to trade him because he doesn't want to be there. That's personally what I think. I don't know. Um, Alperin Sanguin from Turkey. He seems, I mean, he seems cool. But, oh, Giddy. Good day. Good day. Six foot eight. Oh, so he's like a, okay. So six foot eight guard going to the Grizzlies. I feel like that that would be a nice pairing with um, John Moran. I feel like that would be nice. I still am holding out hope for this Grizzly trade. But it is what it is. You know, um, leave in the comments what y'all doing tonight. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be up at Little Caesars, like I said, I live in Atlanta. So I'm a Pistons fan all by myself out here, you know, trying to hold it down in Atlanta for the Pistons. People just be coming at me left and right with the hatred and nonsense and whatever. But it's all right, man. It's all right. Hey, yeah, the Pistons, we, we going to the playoffs, baby. My prediction is a 500 season for the Pistons. A 500 season for the Pistons. I honestly believe we can get to 41 and 41. I tr- honestly truly believe that. The low the low end the high end I could say 44 at most. Low end I'll say 33. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um yeah, leave in the comments how y'all feeling about the draft, what you think about the news, if you think it's just smoke again and that we're actually going to trade the pick. Let me know any and everything y'all feeling, man, because it, it's going to be a long day for us. It, it's going to be a long day for us Pistons fans. It really is. I want everybody to truly enjoy the day. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the night. 
showcased love, showed the Pistons organization love. They've done a, a fantastic job with this. I'm very proud of my organization. I'm proud of the city. So, and thank God, ain't nobody gonna be burning nothing down. <laughs> because I swear, people were we People were gonna be pissed. If we didn't take Kane, oh my God, I, I was concerned. I was gonna be so concerned for how the city was gonna look. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, K Cunningham's coming to Detroit, man. Official by Woj. Let's all get ready for the draft, man. Get your food up, get your snacks, get your drinks up, man. It's about time we get ready to just enjoy the night. And the oh, and the Pistons actually also released the um the summer league schedule. August 8th is the first game. We have four games scheduled. August 8th is the first game against the Thunder. Ooh! Jalen Green versus Cade Cunningham on August 10th. Oh! Oh, this is going to be so clean. Oh, ESPN! Oh, ESPN! Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. August 10th. Dang. That's like less than two weeks. Oh my God, I'm excited. Kane Cunningham versus Jalen Green. Oh, I'm excited. August 13th, we got the New York Knicks. And the 14th, we got the Lakers. Each team will also have a fifth game with the two teams with the best record playing in the championship on August 17th on ESPN. Wait. Why is nobody else in the, hold on. Am I missing something? Oh, all 30 teams. All 30 teams. Okay. Are we missing games? Like, why is it only four? Oh, it, it is what it is. <sighs> Cade Cunningham versus Jalen Green, August 10th. Oh, it's going to be lit. It's going to be so lit. It's going to be lit. I'm about to get ready for the day. Like I said, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man. Become one of the players in the palace. Oh, yes. I'm going to have the live stream going on tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a great night for Pistons fans. It's going to be a great night. Um, Yeah, that's all I want to say today, and I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out.